Since you did such a good job, here is a bonus video. Bonus, 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 bonus. <laughs> Each HTML element on a page has four different properties. Content, padding, border, and margin. These are known as the box model. A working knowledge of the box model is a critical to becoming a CSS ninja. Let's look at the diagram of the box model. In the middle is the content, then there is the padding, then the border, and finally the margin. Let's break these down. First, the content layer. That's the good stuff. Like if you just saw me naked, that's the content. In paragraphs or headings, this is the text. For images, it's the picture. The size of the content depends on the type of the object, but it can be altered with the CSS properties, width and height. Padding provides separation between the content and the border. So my boobs look pretty big, but there might be some padding in my bra. It's not. Just saying. Padding is a CSS property. Its thickness can be controlled individually on the top, right, bottom and left with specific properties. I prefer to be on the top. They can also be <laughs> stupid. They can also be defined all at once with four different values like 10 pixels, 20 pixels, 15 pixels, 25 pixels or Two properties which affects the top and bottom and left and right. Like padding, 10 pixels, 15 pixels. If you specify a background color for a piece of content, it will extend to the border of, of the padding. Next is the border. This provides a visual container around the element. It lives between the margin and the padding. You can specify the border color, width and style. Dotted, solid or double solid. To specify a solid one pixel black border for all sides use border one pixel solid black. The last is margin. This is my personal space. The margin provides separation between elements. It is transparent, so it will be the color of its parent element. It can be sized like padding. One rule for all sides, or you can specify the width on a per side basis. When you set the width and height properties of an element with CSS, you're setting the width and height of the content area. When you specify padding on an element, it will increase the size of the element. We have a diff. It has a width and a height of 10 pixels. And then add padding of a 5 pixels to all four sides. The size of the element will be 20 pixels by 20 pixels. I'll wait while you do the math. Did you get it? Good boy! If you add the 1 pixel border to the element, the size will be 22 pixels. And so for the margin. Thanks for watching!